What is up everyone welcome back to another episode of Fall Guys. Today we are doing survival of the fittest. So let's get into it. I'm going to show off the golden chicken. Yes, this is a voiceover. I didn't know if I would be able to record survival of the fittest before my vacation and everything. But anyway, here we are. Block party. So survival of the fittest is a really 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 hard game mode that gives you usually I want I want to specify usually because sometimes it doesn't the hardest variation of block party the parkour version three rhinos in stomping ground three snowballs in snowball survival and three bars plus cannons in jump jump club or whatever the reason this was taken out was because Snowball Survival was vaulted, and when it came back, they were like, well, Survival of the Fittest can come back because all the other game modes were here. The finals can be an array of things, like Jump Showdown, usually with the fan. Um, what else can it be? It can be Stomping Ground, very rarely. It used to be Roll Off. That was like the most common one. However, the most common one has become Kraken Slam. So that's very exciting. I haven't won a whole lot of Kraken Slam, so this is gonna be, <laughs> it's gonna be fun, for sure. Um, just to let you know, I used to be really, 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 really good at this mode, and when it came back, since it's come back, I have not won a single time. So hopefully we can get some wins today, a win. That's all I really want. I know the tryhards are playing this because in Survival of the Fittest you get two crowns per win, not just one, because they know this game mode is hard. Anyway, I had some clutch plays on um, Block Party. There was a guy that grabbed me, so instead of jumping, I decided to consciously fall onto the floor and um, avoid the stuff that way. Now we are on to Stomping Ground. Three Rhinos. Stomping Ground is probably like one of the hardest games or modes in Fall Guys just because the rhinos are so unpredictable sometimes they target you is it with three of them it's just crazy so i usually have trouble with the three rhinos on stomping ground but since it's round two usually a lot of people get out and when it's round three it usually gets pretty sweaty regardless of what game mode you're on so anyway we got away with that one scot free not really any anything scary there. Now we're on to Jump Club. Like I said, three sw swivelers and cannons. Sometimes it's two swivelers and cannons. Stomping ground, sometimes there's only one rhino, which is super duper weird. I have not seen a block party that hasn't had some kind of parkour variation, and Snowball Survival almost always has three snowballs. So there there's a few variations here, but I mean, two swivelers without cannons sometimes is crazy. With cannons is insane, and then three with cannons is just it's who falls first you probably can't live the entire time if you could wait out that timer that's insane by the way that was another very very easy one and like I said Kraken Slam has now become the most um, frequent final in this it used to be roll off and honestly even though I win more roll offs than Kraken Slams I like that Kraken Slam is here instead of roll off because roll off brings my heart rate to probably 152 beats per minute. My heart rate is already at an unhealthy resting rate. So the fact that we don't have to do roll off, it's just great. Anyway, how do you like my golden chicken? I'm a huge fan of this. Um, I'm probably going to wear it next episode just because this episode will be short. It'll only end up being about 10 or 15 minutes. Um, if I'm smart, this will actually, this episode and next episode will be one joint episode of Survival of the Fittest plus me showing off the new creative maps. But if I'm dumb, which let's be real, I usually am, I'll just have two different episodes. But that's more content for you, so either way it works. So my plan with Kraken Slam, I can't time the Kraken tentacles. I need to keep the tiles, the uh, tiles that leave, I need to keep as many of them on the stage as possible because people are skilled and can dodge the tentacle slams, but not me. I am not one of those people. So very often when I'm playing, you will see me 
on a space where tentacles will not slap me upside the head. As you can tell, I'm being super genius right now. There was a, a tile over there to my right that I could have jumped. It was shorter, and yeah. Anyway, besides me being dumb, I have now realized that everyone has fallen except that raccoon, panda, whatever over there. So I'm thinking, okay, I gotta go grab him because he he is most definitely better than I am. So I try and grab him. Oh, he grabs me back. Now we're in a grab match, and I see that the tentacle is on his side. So all I have to do is hold on to him, and he will hit the water first. He doesn't notice. I'm holding on, I'm holding on, I'm holding on. He notices. Boom. Since he was in front of me, he hit the water first. I win. Two crowns right there and I'm thinking man I'm good that's a short little episode and I was like mm, you know the golden chicken was lucky maybe I'm skilled I don't know but I want to show off snowball survival they didn't get to see snowball survival so I'm at least gonna do one more um, celebratory crown celebration getting some kudos to my name completing that um, gotta play a hundred games to get all the kudos but and I'm getting kudos in the past, so like it, it's just a kudos day. Like I said, I wanted to do another round for you guys. So round one is stomping ground. Three rhinos, as always, even though sometimes it's one rhino. So I'm thinking, okay, it's round one. We just got to get out of here scot-free. 11 people need to fall. That's a good bit of people, but there's a lot of people on the stage. We'll be bumping into each other. The rhinos have free reign of who they want to knock off. I mean, we're great right now. I'm feeling confident. I'm getting squished. I'm no longer feeling confident. I get love tapped and start freaking out, but I recover, observe my surroundings, and then just get away from them. When you're on stomping ground, you just don't, you know, don't worry about it. That shark just respawned. Straight up just respawned. Don't know how that happened. Whatever. Anyway, like I said, like I wanted to show off Snowball Survival, it's been vaulted for so long, and since it's come back, I've been terrible at it. I used to be so good at Snowball Survival. Since it has come back in Season 4, I am so bad at this map. I cannot live to save my life. Like, it is, you have to live for one minute in solos. In this, it's until six people get eliminated. But in solos, you have to live a minute. Even with one snowball, I will fall all the time. That's the easiest way to win snowball survival. Find a spot where they're not going and just hope everyone else falls because at some point the snowballs will reach you. Anyway, <laughs> snowball survival is crazy. These survival rounds are intense and they know that that's why you're awarded two crowns for a win. Jump Club gets crazy, Stomping Ground and Snowball Survival are just honestly insane. Block Party Hardcore Variation is probably the easiest. It's either Jump Club or Block Party that's one of the easiest modes in this insanity that is a game mode. But anyway, we're on to the semifinals right here right now. And we're looking good. Three out of four. I'm feeling fantastic. Boom. Just like that. We're on to another final. Like I said, you can get Kraken Slam, which is the most common. If you don't play Jump Club, you are likely to get Jump Showdown. So if you get Block Party, Snowball Survival, Stomping Ground, you could get a Jump Showdown. If you get Jump Club, you probably won't. But just wanted to throw that out there and sometimes rarely you can get a stomping ground if you haven't gotten stomping ground and it's the final round you can get stomping ground it is very rare but it has happened to me I think that's all the finals you can get I don't know anyway I was very first of all that save was insane he walked on the side to get here that guy that that was insane like crazy he jumped on a tilting platform jumped on the side of it dope got over to the blue honestly applause to him i could not do that anyway like i was gonna say before he made that sick save that had to be interrupted um i honestly thought i'd get griefed a lot more because no one is wearing a golden skin and i have a golden chicken my man is just 
it's, he's going crazy. His internet is insane right now. And insane, I mean, it's worse than McDonald's. It's honestly impressive. I'm trying to be nice. <laughs> Just don't pay attention. He'll leave. Fantastic. Sometimes you just gotta pretend people don't exist and they'll fall off. Honestly, I got super duper lucky. Um, but yeah, I thought I'd get griefed with my golden skin and no one else wearing it. But apparently, no one wants to grief the epic golden chicken. Am I skilled? Is the golden chicken lucky? Did I get lucky in Timmy opponents? All of those three options are very likely. But anyway, that's going to be the end of Survival of the Fittest. I still got some skill, you gotta admit. I'll see you next time. Thanks for watching, and uh, yeah, peace out.